working with the table with the composite primary key is not very straightforward. In this video, we will create a table with a composite primary key, create a Spring Boot project, create the entity, repository objects for it. We will see how to retrieve and insert rows from this table both in our application code and inserting data in this table using a timely form. Here, I have Oracle SQL Developer open where I am connected to the demo schema where I have a table persons which has a composite primary key, full name and location ID and then another column age. Let us see how to work with this type of table in Spring Boot. Here I have Spring Tool Suite running which is a flavor of Eclipse. Let's click on File, New, Other and then type Spring and choose Spring Starter Project. Give it a name Composite PK. Choose from Web Node Web, from Template Engines Time Leaf, from the SQL tab JPA and click Finish. Let me now go to the pom.xml file and add the dependency for the Oracle database as well as Hikari CP for connection pooling. For more info on how to connect Spring Boot to Oracle, please watch my other video Spring Boot with Spring MVC connecting to database. I have Hikari CP manage the connection pool. Let's add an exclusion for tomcat.jdbc in the JPA. Now let's right click on the package and choose new package. Give it a name com.example.demo.model. Next right click on it and choose new class. Give it a name person. Mark the person class with the entity notation supplying the name of the database table persons. Import the annotation. So we know that this entity has three fields of which full name and location ID are primary key fields. Let's take these. Right click, choose new, class, call it person PK. Paste these two. With column annotation, supply the underlying table column names to these. Right click, choose generate getters and setters. Mark this class with the embeddable notation. Right click, choose source, generate constructor using fields. Click generate. Also, let's add an empty constructor. Next, let us go to our entity class and use the embedded ID notation. Let's indicate the primary key for this entity as person PK. Fix the import. Right click, choose source, generate getters and setters, select all and then generate. Now let's right click on the package and choose new package. Give it a name com.example.demo.repository. Next right click on it and choose new interface. Give it a name person repository interface. Let's extend it with CRUD repository based on the person class with the primary key as person PK. Let's fix the import. Let us define a finder method find by age which takes in an integer age. Fix the import. Next right click on the package choose new package give it a name com.example.demo.service. Next right click on it and choose new class. Give it a name person service. Let's mark it with the service annotation. Now auto wire the data source and the person repository interface. Fix the imports. Next let's create a method which will return an iterable list of person get all which returns PRI dot find all method. This is the advantage of using CRUD repository that it automatically generates the method implementation as long as you follow the proper naming convention for the method. Similarly, let's create a method which returns a list of person objects as get by age which returns PRI dot find by age method. Let's fix the import. Let's create a method which returns an optional person object get by PK which takes in the person PK. We simply call PRI find by ID 
passing in the composite PK. Let's fix the import. Next, let's call the save method to save a person object. This method takes in all three fields, say which are submitted by the form. First, let's create a new person, then set its PK by calling set person PK method, inside which we call new person PK, passing in the full name and location ID. We set the age and then call the repository interface save method passing in the person object. Let's go to our main class and enter using entity scan notation the packages to scan for entities. With the enable JPA repositories annotation, let us specify the base packages to scan and specify our repository package. Let's make our class implement command line runner to run this bean. First, call person service dot save method and pass the name, location ID and age here. Let's print the full name of the return person with p dot get person pk dot get full name. Let us auto wire our person service first. Now let's obtain the optional person by calling person service dot get by pk passing in the person pk which we construct using full name and location id. Let's fix the imports. Let's print the full name to indicate our method worked. Before we proceed, let's go to the application.properties file to indicate our database details. Here are the details for the database connection. Hikari CV settings for connection pool settings. Finally, the logging settings. Let us specify the server port for embedded Tomcat as 8780. Let's right click and choose run as Spring Boot application. Oh, we forgot to extend the person PK class to implement serializable. Let's do that. Also, let's put the serial version UID. Let's run it again and we see that we were able to successfully save and retrieve information in the table with composite PK. Now oftentimes, we may want to insert in this table using a form. The form will have individual fields which we will have to map in the backend appropriately. Let's see how to do that. First, let's right click on the package node, choose new package and call it com.example.demo.controller. Let's right click on the package, choose new class, call it person controller, click finish. Let's mark it with the controller annotation, auto wire the person service. Let's create a request mapping for get and have a root request mapping of person. Let's add the response body annotation to indicate that the response is the return string. Let's create a method which returns an iterable person list which calls person service dot get all to get the list of all persons. Next, let's create a request mapping save to save the model. It will return the time leaf page person. Let's implement that. Right click on source main resources template, choose new, other, html and give it a name person. Let's put the time leaf annotation, close the meta tag, give a title. Inside a div, let's create a form element with method post, id as my form, using time leaves th object we bind it to a backend pojo. Let's call it person, action is slash person slash save action upon form submission. Let's create an input text box for full name and one for location ID of type number and one for age of type number. Put a submit button. So this form has one field for each of the columns of the person table. But since our person entity has an embedded PK, we need to create another simple POJO with each column of the table to provide the field mapping in the backend. Let's right click on the model package, choose new class and give it the name person wrapper. Let it have the three fields, generate getters and setters for that. Now to our model, let's add the person object which you binded in our form to a person wrapper object. Let's also implement the request mapping for save action of method post. It has response body annotation, 
Let's create a method which takes the model and the person wrapper. We now create a person variable p2 which is obtained by calling person service dot save taking in the full name location id and age from the binding values submitted by the form. It returns a message that the person is saved. Let's now run this app by right clicking and choosing run as spring boot app. Let's type localhost 8780 slash person slash get and we get the JSON for the person object. Open another tab and type HTTP localhost 8780 slash person slash save and we get our simple form. Let's put a full name, location ID and age and click submit and it binds the fields to the person wrapper object, calls the save action URL which invokes the appropriate controller method which uses the person service to insert it in the person table with composite primary key. If we refresh the get service, we now see our second person object here. In this video we saw how to work with the table which has a composite primary key in our service methods. We saw how to retrieve and save records. We then saw how to handle form submission against that table to insert in that table. Thanks for watching.